Hey YouTubers, this is Press 316 here. I would like to say that uh, today's celebration of the opening ceremony and the Olympics and all, it was uh, very um, wet and uh, rainy outside and it was just really cold. I uh, got up this morning, um, my uh, roommate who uh, performed at the Olympics with me at the opening ceremony, Scott, who is my uh, cousin, he uh, unfortunately he didn't he didn't came back to the room last night or even this morning but he he did came back actually um, while I was gone I could see that some of the clothes is all all uh, around his bed now I could tell that he was he just came here just to uh, change and he must have went out the door again but um, almost all day today I uh, was all alone but I was kind of happy to uh, meet one of my um, sisters of the indigenous youth gathering down at uh, Robson Street uh, where um, people uh, skate and uh, they had a performance there and I I went to there this morning around um, 9.30 it was uh, tremendous I, get, I was happy to see uh, Chief Gibby Jacobs and um, John Furlong there I didn't met them in person uh, yet but I mean, well, I did um, last year, but unfortunately, um, this year it was just that I was behind a lot of people, and um, yeah, it was a uh, tremendous. I had a good time, and uh, there was a there was one of my uh, uh, how should I say? Uh, well, like uh, one of my uh, sisters was there. She went and uh, told me to stay for a bit because there's one of uh, the Canadians' uh, talented very own. Um, Inza, who is um, a First Nation like me, and she's um, won a lot, numerous of Grammys and all. And uh, we just went. I decided to stay with them, and I kind of noticed that my uh, former chaperones for um, the Aboriginals of people of Canada so, was there with us, and I had a tremendous time. But uh, take a look at this video, and you'll see what I mean. You'll see that um, I'm filming Enza. She's a very talented singer, but uh, take a look almost at the end and all, or in the middle. You'll see that there's a surprise of a, of a very uh, young age person. And um, here's uh, his uh, moment of fame right there. So here it is. Check it out.
And there you have it. I was pretty uh, shocked that uh, a young lad like himself to uh, to start um, chanting and uh, cheering on Enza. She's a very beautiful girl that is very talented, and I had the opportunity to uh, stand in the uh, front row and uh, see her uh, perform and all. And you could tell in the background, you could see that there was a lot of guys that was filming and um, possibly checking her out and all. <laughs> but uh, I had a tremendous time. I've had a good hangout with um, one of my uh, brothers. Um, we went to uh, get photos done and all. And I'm pretty happy that I got one right here that I would like to show. And it's from CTV. And um, I just recently uh, got this one right here. And it's uh, a free photo of me uh, taking a picture right in front of uh, the cauldron. It's pretty cool. It was free actually. And I had a had a good time. But um, right now it's I'm here all by myself in my hotel. But um, I'd like to say to all my brothers and sisters who's watching, thank you guys so much uh, for uh, allowing Scott and I to come back and. Uh, have this reunion with all of you. You guys are all in my hearts. I love you guys so much. And uh, for all the viewers, uh, please uh, leave a comment and uh, rate this video. And um, to all the Canadians around the world and Vancouver, my future new home, please uh, be safe on this, um, this terrific event that we're having a one year celebration of the Olympics. And um, happy anniversary to all, each and every one of you. And also to my brothers and sisters, happy anniversary of our performance for welcoming the athletes around the world into the BC place. Peace out, everyone. Bye.